too. We're going to take down right here, full take down, clean up. Actually, going to clean it up in a pilot over there where the owner can uh, burn it. Just move that trampoline on further out of the way. We're sitting right out there. So, anywho, uh, this one on the right is not too bad. The one on the left, though, look at the top of that thing. I'm very surprised it has not broke out or something. And so I'm going to get this one down first, the smaller one, and then I'm going to evaluate what I'm going to do with that one. Now, my game plan is taking down a hole. We're going to see, though. But uh, I got the lift over there. And I'm also going to get a fork at limb out of that oak right there that's overhanging this house. I'm going to take that limb out. This is job number two today. I got to get it done and somebody had a swing here in this in these two trees and you can see the nails in that one that's a good way to uh really jack your trees up y'all if you i mean of course the guy that owns it didn't do that it was done before there may even be something down here too i'm probably gonna go ahead and cut this one low Hopefully I'll get under, get both of these down. Once I get this one down, I'll be able to see that one better and see what it's looking like to determine then am I gonna knock it down whole. If I don't knock it down whole, what my game plan is, I'm gonna shove the lift up in here, go up, put a rope in the top of it, and I'm just gonna back cut the tree some, and I'm gonna take the mini out there, connect on the rope, and just break the top, slap out of the tree. That's what, I, what my game plan is, if I don't take it down whole. <laughs> In case you're wondering, <laughs> my saw is not cutting to my expectations. <laughs> and my chain needs some attention. I mean, it's cutting okay, but it ain't cutting like I wanted to. I have done so much tree work in the last a uh, little bit that uh, I hadn't even had time to even fool with a saw. But I'm going to. This job here uh, will get me. It won't get me caught up, but it'll get some people, uh, well, or I wouldn't say get them off my back, but man, I, I got so much to do, it is insane. And I've been trying to play catch up, uh, getting a lot of work done, but, so what I'm gonna do is I'm fixing to cut this tree up and he wants some, uh, like some fire pit wood. So I'm gonna cut some fire pit wood for him and probably 16 inch pieces where he can handle that pretty good. And I'm just gonna stack it over there out of the way uh, for him and get that done. And I think I'm going to bomb that old tree right there. I do believe uh, we're going to try it. We had talked about that limb up there that it was probably going to end up collateral damage. He said he did not care. Just get it, get them down. He wasn't worried about it. <laughs>
gonna go ahead and bore this tree and I'm gonna put it there's a hole that I can go in between right there between that begging and that other begging it'll go right between there so I'm gonna aim it to go through there we'll bore it, get it on the ground get this deal over with I like so much about the mini excavator and the rotobet grapple even in this situation right here it's a very dangerous situation that stem is still sticking up you can see it's still very large and it's absolutely effortless for me to get that situation dissolved and get it out of the way so the mini excavator that I run is a Kubota KX057-4 machine approximately comes in at 12,300 pounds and the grapple weighs the rotobet grapple comes in at about 830 pounds is what it weighs so you're looking a little better than 13,000 pounds that's what allows me to do these jobs by myself i have a lot of people get on me a lot of times about working these jobs by myself i know my limits and i work the ones i can work by myself uh, because i've got the machine there uh, can do it and the ones that I need help on, I wait till Chris where I can work around him or somebody else or, or whatever I need to do. Uh, the saw I'm running in this whole video is a steel 400 uh, C, MS 400 C, 25 inch bar, full chisel, full comp chain, 33 RS chain on it. I said it wasn't cutting too good. It's uh, watching in the video here, it's slicing pretty good, but I'm about to go down to my shop. Every saw I've got, I think, needs to be sharpening right now. And I pulled everything out of my 5500 last week to have the radio and the cameras put in. And so I'm fixing to go down there and put everything back in it. And I'm going to sharpen every saw I've got. I'm going to sharpen this saw. I'm going to put a sharpening on this saw called the Taylor Sharpening. Uh, that, coin, that phrase got coined. I'll explain more about it as I'm sharpening it. Why it's called the Taylor Sharpening. It's actually a pretty funny uh, background story behind it, but rolled in here, I sit, like I said in the first part of the video, this is my second job for the day, of this day. One was a massive pruning, 
And then once I got all this cleaned up, then I jumped up in that tree with the lift and pruned it too. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, the owner has become a fan and watching the video. Appreciate that. We'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Later, taters. Mm -hmm.